Here with our coach Scott Bork after a 3-2 win over Providence Sunday afternoon. Uh, coach, can we start with an, just an opening comment on the win today? Well, I, I really got to give our guys credit. You know, they uh, they battled back after last night. We played, you know, the 5-1 school wasn't really indicative of the game. And I thought uh, sometimes you leave those games and you take it with you. And I thought our guys did a really good job of parking it and then coming back and playing today and uh, and playing really well. You know, for, you know, we squeezed in a little tight at the end, but you know, we're a team trying to learn how to win against a really good hockey team. And, um, you know, we got it done in the end. Really impressed with our leadership tonight. Uh, Greaser was big time, I thought. And I really liked the play of all three seniors as well. We'll uh, open up to questions for Coach. Uh, Mike McMahon, do you want to start us off with one? Uh, sure. Uh, obviously, you guys jump out to the lead, which is huge. But really, it looked like you guys shut them down in the second period, too. Are you happy with the way you were able to kind of respond in the second and really not let them back in it because it looked like you just kind of stifled everything they wanted to do there in the second period. You know what? Our team, when we play with those habits, you know, we can be hard to play against. And I thought that in the second period, that the bench, uh, the guys on the ice, we were very loud uh, and played loud and, and worked really hard to get above the puck. And, you know, that's a that's a really good hockey team. So you got to work really hard to do it. Um, I was really pleased the way our guys did that, though, and it really responded in the second period. It hasn't been our best period this year, and I thought today was going to be a difficult one, but we played it really well. Question from Mike Macknick. Yeah, Scott, so you get uh, you're 33 seconds into the game, and Liam Walsh takes a penalty that maybe, you know, a retaliatory penalty, and maybe you would have rather he didn't take, but then not only does he bounce back from that, he ends up scoring two goals to give you guys that three-goal lead in the first period. Uh, what would you think of his play tonight? I think he was really good all weekend. You know, I thought again tonight, uh, he's like yesterday, I thought he might have been the best player on the ice for both teams, um, particularly after watching the video. And, and tonight he was really good. I, You know, he's an emotional player that, that he has to play like that to be successful. And, you know, I think he felt like he got fouled before, you know, before that, which I think he did too. But, um, you know, and so he took that penalty. It wasn't it wasn't what we want to do, but I felt that he played uh, really strong after that. And I love I love his energy and his strength, and that's what he gave us. Question from uh, Ian Beauchene. Coach, I know the numbers haven't really been that, that positive for you on the power play, but you guys got on the board today with an extra man advantage. What did you like out of your special teams today uh, on both sides? I thought that the, um, you know, the power play was really good early, and then when we got the lead, I thought we played a little loose on it. But uh, we were able to, you know, still generate some opportunities. It's much better than it was, and, and uh, the PK really played big. I mean, that was huge in the third period to kill those two off. I know they scored after that, but uh, those two kills were big, and we gave them some ex extra looks with some bad clears. You know, seventy percent of non clears end up in your net, so that was kind of scary. But uh, really happy our special team play this weekend. Actually, the whole weekend, even yesterday we gave up that goal. I thought we killed pretty well. I mean, it took a bomb and, and beat us. But other than that, I thought our team was good in special teams. Question for Mike McMahon. Yeah. Did you feel like you guys were, were heavier in this game today? It just looked like you guys were not as easily maybe pushed off pucks as, as you were yesterday. And it just seemed like as a whole, kind of throughout the entire roster, just played a heavier game today than, than maybe you did yesterday. I think we did. I, I think we blocked a lot more shots. I think we got over on top of them more. They were a team that – plays that way it's the only way you're going to compete with them and I thought we did a really good job of being that way and getting on the right side of the puck was was a big part of our success today question from uh, Mike Macknick did you change up the lines especially in the third period look like some of the centers you were changing up there uh we we moved them around a little bit just because uh certain guys are having more success in the face-offs than other guys um but not much you know we made the move with Jake Lee and Connor Lovett you know Connor didn't play yesterday I uh, wasn't certain he had his legs that uh, he needed to have in that kind of a game. And uh, I thought Jake uh, did a really good job of uh, just keeping it simple and playing forward. And that was really positive for us. Question for me and Bo, Shane. You guys did a, did a lot today as far as getting in shooting lanes and, and preventing pucks from getting to the front of the net. How, how did you feel as far as your ability to kind of make it easier on Zach and net today and allow him to see shots that actually get through and, and allow him to battle the way he did today for you guys. I thought, especially on the PK, we were we really were big in lanes. Uh, you know, when you're captain, Chase Greesock, the last few games has been, you know, taking pucks all game. Like, he took a couple on the ankle. He just, you know, got himself up and played the rest of the shift. You know, when your captain's laying it out there like that and he's eating pucks like that, you all better do that. And I thought he did a great job of that. Uh, another question for Mike McMahon. 
It's funny. I was actually just going to bring him up. Obviously, he gets rewarded with that that goal early too. It, 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 was it nice to see him get rewarded with that when you see him playing the way he's played over the last few games and, and playing the right way and kind of leading by example to to get rewarded, especially when he's been a little snake bitten. Yeah, I think it's really it's really positive because you know a lot of point guys measure their uh, their game on if they got a point or not and. He has grown in that area really well in the last year and a half and, and not focusing on points and focusing on how he plays. And I thought I um, was really happy to see him get that goal and get rewarded, but he just has been playing so hard recently that I think he's elevated our whole team. All right, we'll take one last uh, question for Coach from Mike Macknick. Uh, happy, I'm sure, with the play of Zach tonight. Uh, but what did you think of his uh, his play both last night and tonight? And uh, any, you know, I'm, I imagine some disappointment on the bench there that you guys weren't able to get him shut out. Yeah, I don't know if there's any disappointment. We just got it. The game ended with us one more than they had. But, you know, I thought he competed really well and, and, and played well, you know. And that's, that's um, you know, all our goalies do that. They all battle really hard. And, and uh, when your team's blocking shots like that, that's that's huge for their success level. So I was pleased for him. I was pleased with his game. But I've been really happy the way the battle, the battle level of that room, if you will, has been really high.